Okay, so the goal of this video is to um, create enemies that come from like a single spawner or a spawn locations. Okay, so just to show you my tile map, uh, you want to use your tile map. Here's my space area. I want these blue locations to be where enemies spawn from. Okay, and then eventually maybe we can do one single enemy from here. I'll show you how to do that too as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, just make sure you have your tile map set up. You have a character under my sprite. Um, these commands are just our animations. We can ignore those for now. You don't need those, but you do need to have this. Your tile map, your sprite created, the buttons command, and this. OK, so now we're going to spawn these enemies in every so often. So we're going to use the game command. And every so often. So let's say every two seconds, a new enemy is going to spawn. So I'm going to go to sprites, set a new kind of enemy player here. Uh, I'm going to rename it here, my enemy, just so we know. OK. Sprite kind of play. And I'm going to draw a bad guy. So since this is kind of a space Pac-Man game, I'm going to draw a space ghost here. And hopefully I am the best drawer in the world, which I am not. Is that what it goes? Probably this going to look like a jellyfish. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right. There's my blue ghost. All right, beautiful. It doesn't look very good, but let's pretend that it's him. All right, beautiful ghost. All right, so we're going to set this enemy. We're going to set him to spawn. So once we set this enemy, he just spawns here in the middle. I don't want him to spawn there. I want him to spawn a specific location. So we're going to go to scene, place my spray on top of a random thing. So I want it every so often, in this case, I want him to spawn a random, um, a random Earth-like planet every so often. And I have to kind of dodge him. So we're going to click on this icon, change it to Earth. Okay, and now every so often he's going to spawn. Oops, well, I see there's a bug here. See how I'm teleporting here? I made a mistake with my code. My sprite is teleporting to a random earth every time. But I want my enemy to do that. So I forgot to change this here. My enemy. So every two seconds, if I walk around, they're going to be spawning on random, random earths all over the place. Now they're kind of not follow me yet, so I need to add that. Sprites. Uh, where is it? Follow, where is it? Here it is. Set my enemy to follow my sprite. So now every two seconds, these enemies are going to come flying at me. And they're super fast and sticking to me. So I want to change the speed maybe. Let's make this uh, 50. And let's try it again. Now these ghosts are slower, and now I have a little more easier time getting around them. There we go. All right. And the last thing, if I want to turn on collision, I go to overlaps. I want something to happen. So on type of sprite kind of player, overlaps another sprite kind of enemy. I want to maybe lose a life or lose points. So you can just, you know, put it there. Change score by minus one. If you have live set up at the beginning of the game, you can do set lives to three. And then if I get hit, I can change lives by one. We'll get rid of this for now. Uh, it's not changing lives. I'm kind of sprite player overlaps. Oh, I forgot to change this. Here's my mistake. Set sprite to kind of enemy, not a player. All right, now this will hurt me. There it is. And see how I just instantly died? That's because the sprite didn't disappear. I'm going to go to sprites and destroy other sprite. Okay. So now this means that when I hit it, 
Whatever ghost I hit, we destroy. We'll lose life, but he destroys. He doesn't instant kill me. And that's it.